All right, picture this. You're Shroud and you load into an Apex Legends server. You make it to the final three and you are cruising to an easy dub. But then, out of nowhere, this happens. Oh! Well, hot damn. Okay, shit. Your first reaction would have to be that this kid's a cheater, right? He's got 12 frags. Oh, he's cheating. Unless he's just really good. Wait, is he insane? But as Shroud quickly learned, the tempest he found himself in was all too real. I'm the best player! Get out of my lobby, bro! On that day, Shroud stepped into the crosshairs of Monsoon, an up and coming Apex Legends player. These days, the 21 year old is one of the biggest names in Apex. But to get there, he didn't just have to battle his way through online arenas and aim trainers, he had to fight homelessness. Throughout all of the homelessness, the one thing that I did keep was my computer competing in Overwatch, Realm Royale, so many different games, trying to make anything work. From working in a kitchen for 60 hours a week to setting up his PC in a Taco Bell, Monsoon did whatever it took to be a pro gamer. And since then, he's taken competitive Apex by storm. And gentrifying, he's the last remaining player in complexity. They have it within their grasp. They push in, it's gonna be the moment for them. Complexity, get the story they so desperately wanted. All right, folks, before we get into Monsoon's incredible story, I wanna make sure that you are all subbed to the channel. So please hit the sub button, hit that notification bell and help us get to 2 million subs. All right, back to Monsoon. Now, before he was Complexity's star Apex Fragger, Monsoon and his family had a lot of financial difficulties when he was growing up. He spent most of his childhood sleeping in cars, tents, and hotel rooms, and he was homeless as a teenager. I grew up in the Bay Area of California during my prime years of high school and middle school and spent on and off about two years homeless. Not only did Monsoon's living situation prevent him from finishing high school, but he and his wife had to hop from state to state just to make ends meet. At one point, they were sleeping on a table in a trailer that was home to five people and three dogs. In fact, the only way that Monsoon was able to stay afloat was his other passion, cooking. He grinded at a 60 hour a week kitchen job that paid him $14 an hour. Still, Monsoon's real goal was to become a professional gamer. One more, self resing, self resing, self closing, self res, self res, self res. I killed That's myself. Play, on the That's the play. He tried everything from CSGO to Realm Royale and was determined to bring his talents to some game's world stage. I'm not in engagement right now, so I can take the, uh, the Oh shit! But since he didn't have a stable place to live, Monsoon had to set up his PC anywhere he could, taking any and every opportunity to grind. He even played in a Taco Bell, buying Baja Blast every hour to stay on the Wi-Fi while he was trying to qualify for an Overwatch team. A lot of times I've set up my PC in friends' houses or PC cafes or hotels or anywhere that I really could to kind of get on and practice. But then, at the start of 2019, a new shooter emerged, Apex Legends. This is my favorite part. Exciting. Part hero shooter, part battle royale, Apex was a dream come true for Monsoon. Within no time, he was fragging out on Twitch, determined to make himself one of the game's first stars. Eventually, Monsoon quit his restaurant job to commit to Apex full time. He moved to Las Vegas and cut his teeth on weeklies for the better part of a year before getting signed by FlyQuest. What's going on everybody? FlyQuest, Apex family. My name is Monsoon. I'm one of the three players for Apex Legends, uh, FlyQuest's roster. And then in August 2019, playing a random match under FlyQuest's banner, Monsoon hit the flick that would change his life. After popping off on Shroud in front of the entire world, Monsoon became an overnight sensation. Yeah, that's the best player at Apex Legends. 7,000 viewers, holy fudge. Dude, Shroud, thank you so much for f***ing shouting out my Notice stream me, you, Senpai. Man. Notice me. I appreciate me. you so much, homie. In addition to being absolutely cracked, Monsoon was also super charismatic and injected tons of personality into his gameplay. No brave can hold my body down. Notice me, Senpai. Notice me. Oh, oh, oh. In the fall, he flew to Poland to compete in the Apex Legends preseason invitational. 
And then the reason why I want to start with FlyQuest is because Monsoon has recently joined them. He was a substitute for Tempo Storm uh, way back at X Games, and he is one of the most individually skilled players that we have at this tournament, especially when it comes to sniping and using the longbow, etc., or the Kraber. Look at FlyQuest now. It's a, it's a right now MVP versus FlyQuest. This is not a match point game, but one of these teams will win. It's going to be one knock here for MVP. Two knocks. Yes, indeed. MVP closes it out, and we have more Apex Legends still to come tonight. Unfortunately, FlyQuest hadn't quite worked out their kinks, and despite making it to the tournament's final day, they finished in a disappointing 17th place. It took us a good seven games to get rolling. Unfortunately, that's not anything that we enjoy doing, um, and our moral morale was, was pretty, pretty low, man. Within three months of joining FlyQuest, Monsoon was picked up by Complexity, where he'd be able to practice at a state-of-the-art training facility in Texas. Signing to Complexity is the best thing that's ever happened in my life. This organization is the best org in the entire world. Over the course of the next year, Monsoon worked tirelessly to break into the top tier of NA Apex. Unfortunately, Complexity consistently struggled to make it past top four, despite Monsoon's incredible individual achievements. And then through the barrel, Monsoon's gonna connect for another. One squad left, Complexity is hunting, they smell blood, they're gonna find it, and that's gonna be a victory coming through for Complexity. What a performance from this squad. The situation only got worse as Complexity came out of the second summer circuit in an unthinkable 12th place. Something had to change, and Complexity made a roster move trying to turn things around. Now Shiny's got to finish off this job, and a big massive shot, make that two, and he's doing all of the work here for complexity, even though Monsoon went down, the damage that he done. He almost right. again, he almost again. On top. What the f***, yo? Get the f*** out of me! I'm coming in, we're coming to. What, 99? Oh my god. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. They're just in the corner here, both of them. I got past, it's only one. One, one, one HP. Dead. Oh my god. 2v1, 2v1, 2v1. On port, on port. On port. On port. Oh. It's just you. I couldn't win it. Sorry. NT, 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 I was I couldn't do anything. Let's take a look at what they see on the board. Everybody, collective side. Complexity bringing it out on top with 68 points. Sadly, come playoffs, Complexity's old habits caught up with them. Despite coming into the tournament as a juggernaut, they couldn't quite secure that top spot. Complexity, the only one on the ground currently in zone, but CLG able to find something. Complexity looks like they're the ones going down. It's Complexity down, but CLG is still alive. The shotgun battle is here. It's two squads left. Is CLG gonna do it? They're gonna slice through the competition. They are your champions of the Americas in summer. After finishing first, second, and third in each of the respective autumn circuits, Complexity went into the year's final playoffs bout as a bit of a question mark. But when the chips were down and Monsoon had a chance to come up huge for his team, he did the impossible. Complexity does have the player advantage here. Monsoon going in, trying to take down the last player, which is Yuri. Oh. He actually does it. And gentrifying, he's the last remaining player in Complexity. They have it within their grasp. They push in, it's gonna be the moment for them. Complexity, get the story they so desperately wanted. Since discovering Apex back in 2019, Monsoon has gone from a nomad to a world-class competitor. He's beaten nearly insurmountable odds to become not only one of his region's finest fraggers, but also its most inspiring. He's run his race, achieved his dream, and shown time and time again that for a lot of people, esports isn't just entertainment. It's a way for literally anyone to pull themselves up by their bootstraps and turn their passion into success and stability. Because against every odd, that's exactly what Monsoon did. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.